welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming some of my favorite videos to film. Obviously you guys clicked on this video so you're excited for this Ulta haul and uh, yeah I would be too if I was you and I'm even more excited because I'm me and I get to play with all these products. So without further ado let's get into my Ulta haul. Let's see if we can get this box in the screen. I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to open it on camera with you guys so it's just like you're shopping with me. Okay guys, so I'm sure from the size of the box you can tell I definitely did some serious damage and some of these are for videos, some of these are for my future makeup kit because I am actually going to be doing some special occasion makeup coming up soon. So I'm really, really excited, but the first items I got are from a new brand to Ulta, newish, they've been around for a while. I did see Casey Holmes review some of their products and I was just so curious to pick them up. Um, so I picked up some stuff from Lottie London, which is again another British brand, and I got the Tan Times Bronzer. So I've been on a huge bronzer kick lately and these stuff were pretty affordable so I thought why not and then I got the shadow swatch palette and this is the rust you know palette and it reminds me a lot of like Urban Decay Naked vibes eyeliner the liquid liner Casey Holmes love this and this is called the wing woman liner I really wanted their pencil liner too but by the time I got this whole cart together, uh, they sold out of it. So I was really bummed about that, but eventually maybe I'll pick it up if I like this stuff. But I just thought it would be so fun to do a first impressions video on these products for you guys. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, definitely do that down below so you don't miss any of my future videos that will show up on your subscriptions list. If you really want to be proactive, go ahead and hit that notification bell because you'll actually get a notification on your cell phone screen every time I upload, which I think is great because why not? Okay, so again, I decided to take advantage of the 20% off and stock up on some summer essentials. So I decided to try the Sun Bum. Uh, broad spectrum SPF water resistant sunscreen. My husband is um, white, I guess you could say, and so he burns so easily. So I decided to pick this up and try it out. Um, another random item I picked up is this Earth Therapeutics Smoothing Stone. It definitely feels like something like exploded in my box. So that's kind of odd. But anyway, this is basically like a pommel stone and I have really, really bad calluses on my feet. It's so bad. Like as soon as I start getting callusy, I know I need a pedicure because my feet just get so rough and crack and like I have this really bad habit of peeling my feet. Feet, uh, which is really gross but I wanted to get this to see if this would help if I used it in the shower to just kind of scrub off those calluses and make my skin pretty smooth um, so yeah let's see if that works I will report back to you guys next is one that I saw coffee break with Danny talk about and I was like well why not try it with 20% off so this is an anti-cellulite body wash in a sponge and I got the scent lavender bloom and I know nothing about this except that it's supposed to be a anti-cellulite body wash and you get like 20 plus uses out of this so I'm gonna have to put this to the test and see what kind of cellulite it gets rid of because uh, wouldn't that be kind of like a miracle if you could just wash away your cellulite I don't know, you guys let me know what you think if you tried that product. I'd be so, so curious to hear you. Uh, next, I picked up these e.l.f. foundations. These are the oil-free SPF 15 Flawless Finish Foundations, and I got the shade Natural and Sand. These foundations are really, really quite good, and they're very affordable. Like I said, I picked these up because I have some special event makeup coming up, and so I just wanted to pick up some of the lighter shades so that I can use them on people with lighter skin. Obviously, I have really tan skin, so a lot of people in the FM area, it doesn't really work out for them um, to have light, like dark foundations. So I've been stocking up on lighter shades so that I can use them on other people. Okay, next I picked up some of my my favorite lashes from the drugstore again if I needed to use them on any of the bridesmaids or the bride that I'm doing coming up soon these are the Ardell Vispies and honestly for a great everyday natural but still like looks amazing on you lash I would totally recommend these. I thought that was a really good deal and I love those lashes. I literally cannot buy expensive lashes. I wore a pair of hooded lashes on my wedding day and those were so hard to work with, the Samantha lashes. I don't know why people like those, um, but I, the Ardells work for me fine. I can work with them. They're so easy and I recommend to everyone. So definitely check those out if you're looking for a good lash. 
This is something I've been dying for. I've been dying for a mini palette because I want to take some of my favorite singles and put it in a smaller palette just so I can get more use out of them every day. Um, I was debating on getting a Z palette, but then I saw Tarte Cosmetics came out with this really cute leopard print one and I saw it on somebody's like YouTube video and it looks so cute between this and that leopard print one they have. The patterns just go so well together. So I had to get this. It's a nice soft leathery finish with the camo print and it just says tart on the front. The only thing I wish was that you could see the shades on the front of this but that's okay um, and I believe this fits nine eyeshadows. I've been dying for that new Makeup Geek 9 pen palette that they have but I have so many singles I don't need it so I'm trying not to buy it and I thought it would be fun to create something with similar shades in here and use that like every day as my travel palette and yeah put some really solid eyeshadow shades in that and that thing was only $10 which I think is great because the Z palette version of that palette is like $14 so I guess you're paying an extra $4 for a clear front so do with that information what you will I'm having so much fun just picking stuff up randomly from this box by the way um this this is another fun purchase. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect Luminous Blush in the shade Snapdragon. I have just been on a coral kick lately. I've just been loving everything that's orange and luminous looking. So I just wanted to get this um, because this blush just looked really appealing online. And I have um, something like this in the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I just wanted to try this out. But honestly, I'm actually looking at the shade and it's a little more peachy pink than a peachy coral. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this because I don't know that I will enjoy that shade. Uh, but you guys, Becca blushes, highlighters, their skin perfectors. They like are honestly one of those like brands do no wrong. Everything they do is amazing. Other than the fact that sometimes they say things are limited edition and then they make them permanent or some of their colors look very repetitive. Um, but other than that, I do like Becca. It, it is a really good brand. So I'm not sure about this color. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit shocked when I opened it. I don't know if you guys could tell. Next is something I've tried to buy multiple times and I cannot figure out what my shade is. This is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops and I got the shade G70. I just feel like this is such a good full coverage foundation and I'm such a full coverage person that I just thought this would be so nice to have on hand. I am such a fan of the Cover FX brand. They also are one of those brands that I have a really high regard for. I feel like this shade may have worked on me maybe a few weeks ago before I got really tan, but now I don't think it's gonna work for me because it looks really light. So I'm gonna maybe test that out on my actual face and see what I think, but I've heard nothing but good things about the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. So I just really want to nail my shades so I can use them. And I just love that you can put them into a face lotion. You can put them into a sunscreen to give you a nice tint of color if you don't want to go full coverage with it. Okay guys, since I was doing a haul video, I wanted to throw in two things that are actually not from Ulta. I got these at Macy's, but both these brands are sold at Ulta. I just think these products, I don't think they sell the MAC brushes at Ulta. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember, but this is the MAC uh, 140S, I believe is what this brush is called. And I recently picked this up for bronzer. I've just like been on a really big bronzer kick lately and I'm just loving this brush for bronzer. It is a little bit more pricey than what I like to spend on brushes. So I don't have a lot of MAC brushes in my collection. In fact, I want to say this is my first MAC makeup brush, and I really like it. So I'm going to keep playing with this and watch out for it. You might see it in a favorites video soon or something like that. Next item is also new to me. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. And honestly, I'm such a huge fan of Double Wear Foundation, and I'm so glad they came out with this water-based one. I really want to do a dedicated video to this product because honestly, I do think it's that good. I am a huge fan of Estee Lauder Regular Double Wear, so I'm so glad they came out with something new, and I've been wearing this nonstop since I got it. I think it's a great full coverage foundation, and the only thing I don't like about it is that they don't have a lot of shades, which is disappointing but I'm thinking they might come out with more as time goes by. 
once they see how well the foundation does. Okay, next item I have is the OPI Nail Envy Nail Strengthener, and I just got this because my nails have been really not doing so hot since I got like a few acrylics and then I got gel for a couple months there and now they are doing really badly. So I just thought a nail strengthener because they're so soft and brittle. They break so so easily that I wanted to try something like that for my nails. Next I picked up more of these. These are the NYX Pro Foundation Mixers. I already have two of these but I got two more. This is in the shade olive and then luminous and I just thought again these would be super handy in my kit because I'm going to be working with people with different skin tones and sometimes you know people get spray tans and stuff for special events or they've been tanning so their current foundation doesn't work for them and these just work really well to like lighten or darken a foundation so if you are a person that is balling on a budget definitely check these out so that you don't have to buy a different foundation shade you know depending on when you tan and stuff and yeah I'm really excited to uh, see how these work out for me okay let's see what is here what is this I wonder if I can guess I know what this is I swear to god I did not look at the spots I just know that this is the NARS sheer glow foundation I ordered Boom! I was right! Okay, so NARS Sheer Glow is one of my favorite foundations of all time because the tone is perfect for me. So I go in between two shades. I go between Tahoe and Syracuse and Tahoe is the darker shade. That's my summer shade and I have been out of Tahoe for a while so I decided to pick up the correct shade for me for the summertime and uh, I'm obsessed. I have a whole video coming out with all of my foundations like my foundation collection video and uh i just have not enough good things to say about nars and especially the sheer glow formula just works so well on me it's like a full coverage foundation for me even though it's supposed to be sheer glow and a lot of people i know that have tried this foundation don't like love it but i think sometimes certain foundations just work so well with certain skin types and nars nails it for my skin tone so if you have a hard time finding the right shade for yourself and you're my complexion and you're asian definitely check out NARS because their undertones are just, just, you know what I mean? Is that, is that a good way to put it? Okay, I got a little bag full of liquids. Let's look at these. Let's look at these good as. Okay, so I did pick up a giant tub of Aquaphor. Basically dry, cracked, or irritated skin because my heels are literally so dry and I feel really bad and guilty because I don't do a good job of taking care of my feet. For some reason, like I will put on all the face cream in the world, but taking care of my feet is not going so hot and I know dry feet chronically runs in my family. My mom used to tell me all the time about how my grandma's feet were so cracked that they would actually bleed and I really don't want to end up in that situation. So I'm trying to make an effort to take care of my feet and I decided to grab this because again it sounded like it was going to work really well and of course if you've ever gotten a tattoo most um, tattoo places will have you use this as well. So I'm really excited. I don't think it has a smell or anything and of course I went with the giant tub uh, because I'm serious about getting my skin cleared up on my feet because like I said they're just really dry and I feel really bad that I don't do anything about it. Next I figured I would pick up eye cream. This is a Mario Badescu glycolic eye cream and this was not very expensive and it basically says it helps fight wrinkles and is deeply hydrating and also helps with anti-aging. So I haven't really tried out a lot of Mario Badescu stuff. I just got the aloe something setting spray and I've had like his pimple cream forever but nothing else really and my Tarte Maracuja this one is awful it's been giving me bumps so I stopped using it and I've actually heard um Nicole from Young Wild and Polish say that about this at first I didn't think it was eye cream I just thought it was my skin because sometimes I do get little like not acne but little bumps and I've seen a dermatologist and my 
aesthetician, they both say sometimes your skin, like your dead skin, can just build up and create that. But I have noticed, like, since I stopped using that eye cream, I haven't had that problem. So I'm definitely never touching that eye cream with, like, a 10-foot pole. Um, so I decided to try this, and this was about 20 bucks at Ulta. So we'll see how it goes. You really don't get a lot of product with eye cream. Next, I decided to buy the Hemp's After Sun Cooling Gel and Body Hydrator. Again, this was kind of a purchase for my husband because he is very, very prone to sunburns. And I thought this would be a great way for him to kind of cool his body down. I feel like it's glorified aloe, basically, but, uh, you know, it's worth a shot. So I'm going to try it. Have him try that out, and I might try it out, too. We'll see how that goes for him. Next is another Mario Badescu product. This is the facial spray with aloe, herb, and rose water. Sorry, the other one I have is the green one, which is the cucumber one, I believe. But I've heard Live Loves Her Makeup talk so much about these that I've been dying to try it out. It definitely has a heavy scent of rose. So if you don't like rose, I would definitely stay away from it. It's not like... Sometimes like rose, I feel like it's such a like sickly sweet smell. That one smells a lot like the Chloe um, perfume that I have. So whatever that reminds you of, you know, figure that out. Next is a little sample. This is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara in Extreme Black. So I'm excited for that. I love that Ulta does points. I love that Ulta does little samples like that and little free gifts. Here. Oh, I bought an O for highlighter. I have not been like on my highlighter game and everyone talks about how great Ofra's highlighters are so of course I had to buy Rodeo Drive which looks like a blinding gold highlighter I'm totally gonna swatch this it's so soft holy moly okay so this is pretty basic like as far as like highlighting goes it reminds me a lot of like Whisper of Guilt you know Anastasia Beverly Hills very soft and these highlighters are actually not very cheap I can definitely see it picking up in the viewfinder. I never usually use my fingers to put on highlight, but I was feeling gutsy. So if I end up looking like a clown by the end of this video, I'm sorry guys, okay? But Rodeo Drive was just calling my name. But this one honestly reminds me a lot of other high-end highlighters I have, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that one, to be completely honest. Next, I picked up another mineral blush by Becca. This is in the shade Songbird, and let's see what this color is because I can't remember. I don't know. It looks pretty. I'm just going to touch it. It's so soft. I don't know if this is going to show up on my skin tone, but it is really beautiful. Another beautiful peachy highlighty like shimmer shade so let's try this one out this one looks a little more appealing than the other one I was looking at but I kind of feel like I was misled with the shades on these Becca blushes they're they're a little bit lighter than I thought they would be I do have one of their blushes that I own um, it's the shade sweet pea and those are they're so pigmented you're never gonna use up a whole Becca blush this is the Estee Lauder bronzer um, I don't think the shade is going to work for me, but I'm going to see if it does. Um, I was just on a bronzer kick and Estee Lauder has always been so good to me and I just love the double wear foundation. So I thought I would pick up a shade of bronzer in the shade medium deep. Look at their summer packaging. It's so pretty. Ooh, and you get a lot of product here. So let's see. It's a huge disc and... Um, uh, this looks really light. Oh my gosh, that highlighter. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just going to blend it out really quick with my, it's, wow, this is a bright highlight. It's blinding, holy crap. Okay, let's try the bronzer. I feel like it's going to be too light for my skin. Uh, well, it, I can see it kind of in the viewfinder. So... We'll have to see if it ends up working out for me. I'll definitely keep you guys posted. It just looks so light for like medium deep. And it does have one of those free brushes that comes with the product. We'll see how it goes. You get definitely seems like you get a lot of product with it too. So I'm interested in trying that out. We're going to talk about this. This is the Dose of Colors Baked Browns. I bought the Marvelous Mo Moths palette uh, because yes, I have a Dose of Colors first impressions video with you guys' name on it that needs to happen. And, you know, I've heard nothing but good things about these palettes. Everyone is raving about them. And Dose of Colors is, like, cruelty-free and 
um, like, I want to say they're vegan. I just know they're cruelty-free. So I've heard nothing but good things about these palettes. And who doesn't need another, you know, basic eyeshadow palette? Because, you know, I don't, but I still bought it. So maybe you guys should buy it too. I'm just saying, like, maybe that should be a thing. We just buy things we don't need. Um, but yeah, I've heard good things about these. So I'm really excited to do that first impressions video just so we can get on with the program, you know what I mean? Okay, next is this Blush Trio by Anastasia. It's that soft um, touch packaging on this. Um, these have been out for a while. I really wanted the peachy shade, but you know what? When I saw the peachy shade online, like the peachy uh, trio, it uh, didn't look like it was going to be dark enough for my skin tone. So I decided to go with the um, Berry Adore shades. Um, and this is the packaging. It feels really nice and really luxe. My favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers, Shaylee, um, she just did a video with all her new purchases and she actually had the peachy um, little quad thing and it actually didn't look so light so I'm kind of bummed that I didn't go with that but this still has like an orange coral shade so I'm thinking it'll be alright it'll work itself out these are definitely very very pigmented um, Anastasia you know does not fuck around with product she always kills it very consistent brand I would say overall for me I just have one more item to show you guys and uh, this was something I definitely wasn't planning on buying for myself but again like I said I have some special events coming up that I'm doing makeup for I do have a lot of single lipstick shades but I just wanted to pick this up because honestly I just thought for a wedding this is gonna be everything I need as far as doing bridal makeup or mixing shades or customizing things. I really don't think there's another palette out there that'll serve me better than this palette. So I picked up the Anastasia lip palette. This has been out for I would say almost a year now and it's the same packaging as their cream contour kits um, and uh, I have no thoughts on it. Like I said I just opened this box when I got home so I'm gonna play with this see how it works out and uh, keep you guys posted on all of these products. Okay guys, that is everything from my Alta haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and uh, bye guys.